Hey y'all, it's Kate from LoneStarSouthern.com and I just have one question for you. Are you ready for an October favorites video? I know I am. It has been way too long since I've made one of these and I seriously have so much fun with them. So I thought I would go ahead and walk you through some of my favorite things from the month of October. And I say things because I'm so random with these <laughs> videos, but that's what makes it fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I am just going to jump in with my very favorite and um, favorite, did I just say that? From the month of October, and that is the Starfish Project. So what is the Starfish Project? First off, it's the cutest jewelry line. I am actually wearing a Starfish Project necklace right now. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little, um, stone arrowhead with this cute chain. Not only the necklace I have on, but I also love this one, this little turquoise necklace. I wanna like show it to y'all closer so you can see what pretty quality that is. And I also, oh, now it's gonna be all tangled. This always happens to me. One second. Got it. This is, I think, one of my favorite pieces. It's this necklace that lays like this, and it has these two turquoise pieces right here. The pieces are seriously so cute. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I swear you could get your whole Christmas shopping list done at Starfish Project alone. But here is why I am seriously obsessed with them. Starfish Project is a nonprofit that serves exploited women. That is huge, y'all. They do outreach and they find trafficked women and they bring them to the Starfish Shelter where they get counseling, they get shelter, a place to live, and they also make an income making these pieces of jewelry. What is so cool is that's not where it stops. They train these women um, in whatever interests them. So if it's the graphic design side of the business, they can get trained in that and eventually go on and get another job in the actual real business world. Basically what they're doing is they're straight up rescuing these women out of trafficked situations situations and they are building new lives for them. If that doesn't give you chills, I don't know what will. Needless to say, I am going to be getting all of my friends Starfish Project for Christmas. How fun is it that you can be like, hey, this is like the most darling little necklace. And did you know that you're helping employ and rescue trafficked women? Nothing can really top that, but let's go on to my next one. This is a favorite and it's also a problem. Some may say an addiction, I'm not denying it. That is this Trader Joe's pumpkin bread mix. What I love about this box is it's just a little box of like this baking mix, okay? You add like half a cup of vegetable oil, a cup of water, and two eggs, and this is what it turns into. Oh. You may see that one is missing. Um, I have no idea how that happened. This stuff is so good. When I saw the box at Trader Joe's, I was like, there's no way that a packaged mix, only adding eggs and oil can be that good. It's that good. I think there should be like a warning sign on the box though that says, hey, if you just have this in your home, there's a good chance you could gain five to 10 pounds per week. I um, don't have self-control when it comes to these. Like, I'm just looking at it right now and I just can't not eat it. So, just one second. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's like, I don't even know. Look at that. Okay, I swear just one more bite. If you want to get on someone's good side or just be a kind neighbor, whip up a little batch of those and they'll be like, oh, you're such a baker. I don't have to tell them that literally it was mixing together eggs and water and oil. <laughs> Moving on to non-fattening things. This can of spray paint. Why on earth is a gold can of spray paint one of my October favorites? Y'all, I have transformed so many things in my apartment with this little deal. I have transformed Ikea shelves with this. My whole headboard had all of these tacks in it, like upholstery tacks. Took them all out, spray painted them, put them back in. This is the best way to make cheaper interior design items look so expensive and so cute. Can't wait to show y'all with an apartment tour video that I may be working on um, exactly what this baby can do, but it rocked, so it earns a favorite spot. My next favorite, you can straight up credit to my mother. She was the one that introduced me to these benefit tints. Okay, so here is what I love about these. They go on your cheeks and on your lips. I'm actually wearing the Benetint shade right now, and they just give a really natural, beautiful pop of color that doesn't look like you've 
schlacked on lipstick that lasts for hours. So my blush, I don't know about you, but whenever I put it on, it only, I feel like lasts a couple hours and then it looks like I have no blush on my cheeks, which defeats the whole purpose. This stuff stays on. The light is so bright, you may not be able to see it very well, but it looks just like a beautiful rosy flush of color. I have used this color almost every day, for sure on my cheeks, for sure on my lips right now. Um, and then I'll just throw on, you can throw on gloss over it if you don't like the matte look. I'm just wearing chapstick over mine. And then I also bought this posy tint. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more casual. My mom is like, Kate, if you just want to go to the gym, you can just pop this on your lips and your cheeks. If people only could see what I look like when I go to the gym. I'll keep that in mind, mom. I give these 10 million thumbs up. That's a thing. It's a rating. 10 million of them. I'm not proud to admit this next one. Dry shampoo. Everyone out there, you all have permission to roll your eyes because I think I'm the last person in the world to discover dry shampoo. Okay, not true. I knew what it was. I tried things before, but this is the first kind of tried that I've loved and actually used somewhat addictively. It's the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. And so not only does this stuff seriously make my hair look like it's clean, just kind of appalling if you really think about it because it's not clean. It smells like you just got a blowout. I don't know if y'all have ever gotten a blowout at the dry bar. <laughs> Let me tell you, I would pay the money just for the smell alone and it's straight up in this little bottle. This next one is going to be the least aesthetically pleasing October favorite, but I'll go ahead and show you anyways. This is my Bible study book. I, this fall, joined Community Bible Study. My mama did it and she convinced me to join with her and I have been loving it. The group I'm with, it's women that are all older than me. So it's from young moms to um, women my mom's age to grandmothers, great grandmothers even, and it's just been the coolest experience getting to meet with these women weekly and like they have just so much more wisdom and insight and different perspective than girls my age do. So it's really nice just to be able to hear what they have learned through their many years of life as opposed to my naive and experienced one. This is a study on Isaiah, which, not gonna lie, when I heard we were doing Isaiah, I was like, what, are, what on earth are we gonna learn in Isaiah? Like all these hard names and it's all these weird places I've never heard of. But the study has been so amazing because that's exactly what it is. It's like an in-depth study and now all of a sudden I understand Isaiah and it applies to my life and I'm encouraged by it. And it just, I think, has given me a new appreciation for God's word and how if you study it, there's so much to be learned. I don't even know if you're a Christian or not. Great if you are, great if you're not. But if you are and you've ever felt that way as well, be encouraged that like there are resources out there and there is such amazing things to be learned in the Word of God instead of being glazed over when you see names like Nebuchadnezzar and Babylon and Crushianites and okay I'm gonna stop because I'm just I'm going back through my memory and I'm remembering that one time in October I met and worked out with Carrie Underwood like did that happen? I think it did, but I'm not sure because I kind of liked out the whole time. Y'all, it happened. I went to Houston. I got to meet her. I got to work out with her. She was promoting her new Kalia activewear line, and I was lucky enough to snag this pair of leggings. I can truthfully tell you this has become my favorite pair of leggings. The fabric is incredible. I love this little detailing right here, a little sheer action. And then I thought it was such a cute touch all the accents are like rose gold. The line is incredibly comfortable, so quality. I think it's sold at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I am serious, I'm just excited to have another workout line I love other than Lululemon, because it's fun having variety. My next October favorite is a dress I kind of splurged on. I had a really fun wedding to go to a couple weeks ago, and I just thought that this off the shoulder bell sleeve dress was too much fun. I am going to show you an Instagram. I posted of it right here. Isn't that cute on? It's like, I can't even explain. You're not gonna be able to see it really well here, but it's the little black dress. It's like immediately flattering. It goes with everything, but these sleeves make it so fun. I cannot explain how much fun it was dancing around and like whip around these sleeves. I also love it because it'll be perfect for holiday parties and things. It's just like a really fun, fresh take on your classic black dress. I think you are going to like this last October favorite as much as I do. I recently got a new Barrington bag and I am in love with this. Look at how cute. This is the St. Anne tote, which I truly own in 
many different patterns because it is such an incredible bag. Side note, would y'all like to see a Barrington collection of mine? That could be a fun video to make. Anyways, I played around with the fall monogram stripes for hours. For those of you who don't know, Barrington is a com <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Barrington is a customizable bag line. You can choose all these different monogram options, color options. Literally, I spend hours whenever I get on the website because I have too much fun playing with the different options. But I love this one, it's tan pattern with this light pink monogram detailing and I have carried it every day since getting it. So there you go, all of my October favorites. If you want details on any of the items I showed you, just click show more below. Thank y'all so much for watching. It seriously makes my day whenever I see that y'all have liked it or commented or all that stuff. I'm trying as always to get out more videos for you, so I hope that you see this is a step in the right direction. As always, I would love for you to check out my blog, LoneStarSouthern.com, and be sure to follow me on Instagram at LoneStarSouthern so we can stay in touch. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.